What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 films of 2019. 2019 has been a very, very great year for some films, you guys. I've seen 37 movies this year. 37 movies since the start of January, starting off at Glass, which was a disappointment, unfortunately. Um... But I've seen great films. I've seen some shitty films. Um, and putting this top ten together was kind of difficult for me. Because I have enjoyed just so many movies this year. And there are some films that I didn't get around to seeing this year. Which is it's really unfortunate. Like I haven't seen Parasite. I heard it was phenomenal. I haven't seen Bombshell, Jojo, The Rabbit, Doctor Sleep, Peanut Butter Falcon, Ad Astra. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen them. I just couldn't get around to seeing these films. So they, they didn't make my list. Now, if I have seen these films, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have had the top 10 list I have right now. But, top 10 films of 2019. Well, let's talk about the films I have seen. Let's go over, let's, let's name the films I've seen this year. I've seen Glass, Fighting With My Family, Captain Marvel, Us, Dumbo, Avengers Endgame, Pet Cemetery, Shazam, Little, The Curse of Yaya Arona, Spider-Man Far From Home, John Wick Chapter 3, Aladdin, Brightburn, X-Men Dark Phoenix, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Child's Play, The Lion King, Annabelle Comes Home, Midsummer Crawl, Hobbs and Shaw, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Good Boys, Hustlers, It Chapter 2, Joker, Zombieland Double Tap, The Lighthouse, Terminator Dark Fate, Hellboy, Frozen 2, The Rise of Skywalker, Knives Out, and Marriage Story. Now, in my top 10, starting at number 10, I'm going to give it to Hustlers, coming in at number 10 for me for the year. Number 9, Us. Then you have number 8, Spider-Man Far From Home. Then you have number 7, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Then at number 6, you have Midsummer. Then coming in at number Five, you have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Then, at number four, you have Marriage Story. Then, at number three, you have Knives Out. Number two, Avengers Endgame. And number one, Joker. That is my top ten films of the year. This list was extremely hard to, to come up with, you guys. Out of this list, you know, four of these films could have made number one for me. Avengers Endgame easily could have took the number one spot. Knives Out easily could have took the number one spot. Marriage Story easily. A film I I went in so surprised and shook by how great of an actress Scarlett Johansson is and Adam Driver. The ability to capture the emotions. It's just it's astonishing. That film was so damn good, you guys. And of course, John Wick Chapter 3, it was just a roller coaster ride. I'm a huge fan of the John Wick franchise, and to see Keanu come back and do this third film, cannot wait for the fourth film. Midsummer, my God, if you've seen Hereditary, you already know you're going you're, to you're gonna go through some, some eerie feelings when watching these two films, especially Midsummer. I felt so uncomfortable watching this movie, but it was so beautifully shot, the story, so unique. To take a tradition like Midsummer and like flip the script and make a, a a psychological thriller out of it was really damn good. And of course, Us, Jordan Peele's Us, his his second film after Get Out. My expectations for this film were way out of the roof. I was so excited for Us. I remember doing videos on it, uh, trailer reactions. That first trailer was so damn good. I got five on it. It just that film just didn't disappoint me. Hustlers was a film I did not think would be on my top 10 list, but I really, really enjoyed Jennifer Lopez and Hustlers. That story, everybody from that from that movie was so damn good. They were so believable. And of course, you know, Jennifer Lopez was a sexy as hell in that movie, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. But yeah, man, that's my list. Let me let me let me go over it one more time. Ten Hustlers, nine us, eight Spider-Man Far From Home. Then you have seven, John Wick Chapter 3. Then six, you have Midsummer. Number five, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, a Tarantino film I was so excited about. Um, number four, Marriage Story. Number three, Knives Out. 
number two Endgame, and number one Joker. Joker takes the number one spot because Joker was such a film that so many people hoped to fail. Unbelievable work from Todd Phillips to Joaquin Phoenix, the cinematography, the score. I, that film did not let me down whatsoever. It was just so unbelievable. The Oscars are coming. Golden Globes are coming. And I'm expecting this film to win multiple awards. Not only from, you know, in front of the camera, but behind the camera as well. Because Joker was a film... It was, it was, it was refreshing to see a comic book film be attached to uh, a social study that's so relevant and real today. And we're talking mental health. And it was, it was amazing that Todd Phillips was able to capture this film and do it in such a unique way. You know, attaching it to a comic book character like the Joker in the DC world. It was so refreshing to see and so awesome. And I'm hoping to see more films like this. I feel like films like this are extremely important moving forward. Such a great film, you guys. And of course, Avengers Endgame. Oh my God, the culmination of fucking 20, 23, 24 movies. Unbelievable. It was just a, a, a roller coaster ride of just tears, emotions, characters you've fallen, fallen in love with over the past 10 years. Iron Man, you know, Captain America, you know, really flushing out these stories, finishing, finishing these stories out. It was just unbelievable. Thanos, I mean, Endgame didn't disappoint. Endgame is still the only film I saw, I think, what, seven or eight times this year. The only film. I, 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 my experience with Endgame was an experience I have never experienced before in a theater. I have never seen reactions like I saw in the theater when Cap caught the hammer. Never in my life, everybody losing it. The last act of that film was just so unbelievable. Fucking comic book nerdism. It was unbelievable. Un, 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 unbelievable, you guys. And Endgame will always have a special, special, special place in my heart, you guys. I, unbelievable film. I can say unbelievable all goddamn day. Unbelievable. <laughs> but yeah, man, there you guys have it. That is my top 10 films of the year. Like I said, there are films that I didn't get around to seeing. And that's just really unfortunate. But I promise you I will see those films. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know your top 10 films of 2019. And what's your top 5 films going into 2020? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time in your day for watching SeaWorld Productions. Peace.